<laughs> oh yeah. Is that uh is that exciting? I was, I was reading, I was reading it as a way as a way to get to talk to my old friend. <laughs> oh beautiful. Well I appreciate that. Um yeah, so is everybody growing out their beard during this thing going on? Well, I am. This is the first time I've ever grown one my whole life, and I'm 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 rather happy. It seems to have improved my visage. Same here, <laughs> Same here man. What? Uh, so, um, hey, what did you want to chat about? I I didn't look at the notes in there, but I know that there's a lot of interesting things about yourself and good stuff. Oh, I don't know. I guess. Uh, I mean, I. I, you know, I, I enjoy reading a lot of the things that you post on Facebook over the years, and I feel like I've gleaned some, some useful things from it. Uh -huh. um, in particular, you inspired me to eat more fruit, and I think I'm a lot healthier because of that. I don't, it's not like I didn't change to fruitarian or vegan, but I, eat, I have a lot more of it in my diet than I used to, and uh, I think I'm a lot healthier. Oh, great. Yeah, I think so, too. Not that I ever had, like, an image in my mind that you weren't a healthy person. I just, uh, and, and I'm happy that you got a lot from me posting about fruit. Uh, but yeah, just from seeing really you and even what you would post about when I was eating a lot of fruit, which includes today, I've been eating a lot of fruit over the last like three weeks. When I was eating a lot of fruit, I was just like, I got to tell everyone right now to eat fruit. <laughs> <laughs> like I got okay. now and take pictures of it and everything and remind them how good it was because it was blown me away. Yeah, so I'm just thinking about how I've like slowly changed my habits over the years. And uh, prior to reading uh, a lot of your posts about uh, about dietary changes, I, I was already making some changes because my because of my sisters who were trying to make some positive changes. And I used to have acid reflux from there. Well, welcome back. Uh, so. Sorry. <laughs> you're great where you're going with that. So um, your sisters invited you to learn more about eating more alkaline. Yep, like eating more salad, um, and that that and just that one change seemed to make a big improvement. I I, I didn't have acid reflux anymore after that, except occasionally when I overeat something bad. <laughs> um, great. great. So there was that, and then but I mean I still I still have not so great happy after that initial change I was still eating lots of sugar like I'd have pretty sugary breakfast and then in the evening I'd have like a sugary snack like a bowl of cereal or watching TV or whatever yeah and so um I'd still get really crashy and sort of moody and and stuff and I used to have lots of pain in my joints a lot of the time and uh and then I think somewhere around the same time as as this deciding to eat more fruit from what you were posting, I decided to try to eliminate as much refined sugar from my diet as I could as I could stand. Because there's so many things, so many products I use on a daily basis that have tons of refined sugar in them. Like even even the salads I was eating, you know, that was an improvement. I was still having lots of dressing and that has a giant pile of sugar in it. So I tried to reduce sugar by getting this simpler and simpler dressings until it. I currently, the one I use has like three grams per tablespoon and I don't, I try not to use very much of it, like maybe like less than a tablespoon. <laughs> so do you know why, <clears throat> do you know why uh, you're getting acid reflux or what it is? Uh, my, my, my understanding anyway, or my, my understanding is that it's just not an alkaline food in your body just uh, what, what can't. It? I, I think it's good for people to, to understand why it, it happens. It's the, uh, you know, the acid, the acidic nature of the things that you're ingesting, which can be vinegars, um, white sugar, which is stripped from its elements. By the way, my, my camp died, but we're still good. Uh, so, so this acidic nature, you're like your esophagus and your stomach the tissues start burning. Um, I've, I've, heard, I've heard doctors and people say things like, I've heard doctors and people say things like uh, you're producing too much stomach acid, but this really isn't the, isn't the case compared to the fact, the simple fact that your tissues are burning alive. So a, a lot of people, including myself, really feel like water will help. Like, oh, let me just drink some water. And all I got to say is water will not help. And I, I and you know that. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, it, it like temporarily uh, soothes. Anyway, because that's that's my yeah. when I was having horrible acid reflux for years, I'd have this bit. I, I used to keep a big jug of water next to my bed, 
and I'd wake up at like 2 a.m. and drink a whole bunch of shit. Smooth as a reflux, but obviously it wasn't the problem. It's just temporary soothing. <laughs> and that's not to say that um, the elements in the water are unable to help, because that that's true. But one thing I think that would really help um, is for people that sit uh, acid reflux. Acid reflux really sucks when you have it. And there's a, a ton of remedies, but really when you have acid reflux, what you got to do is you've got to get like alkaline or mineral substances that are going to touch your throat and touch your stomach very quickly. And um, I, I've followed this for more than 20 years because I had serious acid reflux when I was like 14 years old. Um, very serious. And like constantly, all the time. It was horrible. What I found over more than 20 years, the absolute best thing to help is a seal water, A-S-E-A. Now, seal water is pretty expensive. And and if you're getting acid reflux, you're doing something wrong with your eating anyways. But, you know, some people just don't care. They, they want to eat. They want to eat that Baconator because it really soothes their emotions. <laughs> I love your face. Gross. But uh, I, seal water, you never cheeseburgers anymore like almost never maybe once every few months i'm like oh i wonder what a cheeseburger used to taste like oh yeah i hate it <laughs> yeah i have this inside <laughs> I, I actually love the taste but like i did almost never have them i think it's the bread they're just they're just <laughs> terrible for you i have this major inside joke with uh with baconators but it's it's inside me but but the acia water imagine you have acid reflux and then you drink two ounces of fluid and then within not even 10 seconds, you might burp, but not even 10 seconds, it's completely gone. And it's, wow. gone, it's gone for hours. But, uh, but you know, I, I definitely just want people to know uh, seal water is pretty powerful, especially when you're flooding your body with it, because you're flooding your body with uh, things that are really good with this acid nature. Um, there's, also, there's also a raw potato. Like some people make the mistake of chewing raw garlic or having a lot of garlic in their diet because they think, oh, garlic's good. And they don't realize that garlic will burn up your esophagus. It'll burn up your yeah. stomach. Um, if you want proof of this, go ahead and put garlic on a Band-Aid on your, on your skin and you'll realize, wow, that's starting to really burn. You can use garlic to burn warts off. You can use garlic to burn, to burn off moles even. Uh, so let's say you ate a ton of garlic. Well, you can grab a raw potato take a bite out of it, chew it very slowly, and it will alleviate that pain, that acid reflux. If it does, you're in serious trouble, but it should get rid of it within 10 minutes. Just want to share that with you. Yeah, our potatoes, I think that they are alkaline, aren't they? Well, a raw potato will be alkaline, absolutely. It will be a cooked potato? Well, well, when you cook the... See, with acid and like alkaline and whatever, you know, of course it has a lot to do with pH and, you know, we can get really um, intellectual about this, but I, I'd rather not because I, I think everyone can understand to say that if you want to beat like acids, <clears throat> you're going to want, like with food, you're going to want items with a lot of minerals. And when you cook, when you cook foods, you do fry up a lot of the minerals and you do change a lot of the substances in the foods uh, that most of the time, most of the time make it more acidic, unfortunately. I know there's a big, I mean, I think it's like a matter of uh, degree though. Cause like if you compare say a, a, a cooked, a, just a regular baked potato without any adornments to a, to fries, there's a huge difference there in how acidic those two are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because with fries, you add in uh, oil, and uh, the oil is a lot of these fatty acids. You know, you hear it from the name. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So I, 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 another story about acid reflux. My brother-in-law, Mark, um, he used to uh, use a lot of Prilosec because he, 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 he does not really like to have, or at least in the past, I think he's changing his habits now, but he used to not like to have a lot of uh, vegetables and fruit. He's a big meat guy. He loves mm -hmm. meat. He's really good at cooking meat, making delicious meat meals. Uh, and so that was like his favorite food. So he was just constantly taking um, uh, Prilosec. And we were worried about him because as far as I understand, Prilosec actually reduces your stomach's ability to break things down into nutrients that you can absorb. So it just seemed kind of frightening. Mm -hmm. uh, that you could, uh, you know, 
you'd be you'd be uh, alleviating the acidic thing, but then you're st you wouldn't be able to absorb nutrients from your food. So we were worried about him taking all this Prilosec because it seems like eat if you can if you can fix the same problem by eating a couple of salads a day, then it's a hell of a lot healthier because then you can and you can get lots of vitamins in your system. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't think he's eating Prilosec anymore. We finally persuaded him. I so think he's eating more balanced diet now. <laughs> That's good. That's good. There's like, um, so, you know, like acid reflux, like somebody who has that, right? Um, you know, people hear a lot of promotion about using some type of medicine from the medical world. And, and that's what promoted because it makes money. Uh, I mean, yeah. of course, you know, this yeah, is and, and, and it's an easy band aid for the problem, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, People don't we're, think about the root cause. They just want it. This, hey, I just want they just want relief. I don't care how why I have this problem. I want to keep eating my cheeseburgers, so I just want some relief. Correct. And right. you know, when you ate a lot of fruits, when you added a lot of fruit into your diet, what we can realize is, wow, you know, uh, I mean, obviously it's better not to eat uh, these junk foods. Um, but when we do eat these junk foods, we can add fruits and such uh, that are going to help a lot more than they're going to hurt. And that's a really positive message first having Prilosec, don't you think? I mean, of course. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, another thing I do. We have a bunch of, uh, have a bunch of um, really ripe oranges or eat some bananas. I love bananas. I have like two bananas a day now. <laughs> oh, great. A bunch of other stuff. Um, have, have you read the book by Christopher Basie on uh, the acid alkaline diet? I have not. It's it's. I, a, I, I've been extremely like uh, I don't know, um, just amateur about my approach to dietary changes. I just change one small thing at a time, and things that work, I keep things that don't, I, I chuck. <laughs> it, it, so, like, I mean, you might not be interested in this book, but it's just a really good primer for people who um, who are wondering, well, what kind of foods are even acidic or alkalining in the first place? And his book is good. the The only part he has wrong to be very frank and no disrespect to him is uh, he talks about acidifying fruits. Like, Hey, here's fruits that they could be acidic. It just depends on you, which is not true. It depends on whether or not the fruit is ripe because all fruits, the ripe they are, the more alkaline they are and the better they I are. Was very interested to, I, I remember you posting something about that a while ago and I thought that was interesting. And I remember actually contrasting the difference in how I felt with, eating uh, like I like to have a, a fruit smoothie pretty much every evening and I have uh and I've been using I, what I do is I, just, I cut up a bunch of bananas and, and freeze them and put them in my smoothies mm -hmm. and uh, I used to use fairly green bananas and then when I read what you said I just I started waiting till they were a little bit older and slightly spotted and I think it not only tastes better but I I have I feel the best from that <laughs> from that's awesome that's, that's how it is man Yep. That's totally how it is. Like the more ripe they are and when you can learn how to find them when they're ripe, you'll learn to love fruits a lot more. Some people are like, Oh no, I can't eat this fruit. I like it. The, you know, these, these green bananas, I don't feel too well in my belly. It's like, well, no crap. You don't feel too well, but, but, but we don't know this until we find out. Yeah. I think the same thing's true of like, of like mangoes. If you wait till the right time, they're just heavenly. <laughs> but oh. before that, they're, they're kind of hard to eat and not very pleasant. By the way, no joke, I had um, recently, I had these bananas and I bit into one and I was eating it and it was pretty ripe. Um, and I thought, wow, this tastes exactly like, like the store-bought jelly, you know, for like peanut butter and jelly. I had never been, and it was the normal bananas that you buy from, from a store, but I was just really blown away that it tasted like jelly. And so I thought, man, I have this raw almond butter. Let me put some raw almond butter on this banana. And so I literally ate like six bananas. I, I only planned on eating two. I literally ate six of them because it just it tasted so good. And I felt like I was eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I couldn't believe it. So sometimes fruit like really surprises us with its taste when it's when it's really ripe. Yeah. Oh, and another thing I've, I've – another really – Really good change I've noticed, um, and I, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I also mostly have eliminated bread and grain. Like I don't eat refined bread or grain hardly ever. The only grain I have now is uh, steel cut oats in the morning, which mm -hmm. seems to agree with me very well. 
Um, um, the, the change I notice is when I used to eat sugary cereal frequently or bread or, or white rice, I would have <clears throat> at some times during the day, I'd feel the sort of gnawing hunger. And I know you've often mentioned in your posts that that's, that's like, that's not actually hunger. That's like an actual discomfort in the stomach. And I've noticed that that feeling actually has pretty much gone away. Every once in a while I'll have it because, you know, I'll indulge in something every few months or something like that. But most of the time I don't have that gnawing feeling. Um, oh, great, man. I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, it's really pleasant because I, I, I used to have that terribly. I, like I used to eat sugary cereal a lot when I was younger. And there were times where, where I was just like, I've got to have a giant bowl of honey bunch of oats. And yeah, I just yeah, I'll kill you. Bowl and I just like just scarf it down and, and the feeling go away for a while, but like a couple hours later it feels the exact same way again. And so like knowing that that process goes on, like no wonder people struggle with hunger cravings and obesity and everything because they don't realize that their body is just like just, just need this constantly wanting to consume giant piles of sugar because the more sugar you eat, the more you get that gnawing feeling and you think it's hunger, but it's not. <laughs> and even with little toddlers, like two years old, three years old, four years old, uh, they think the same thing. They don't yeah. and so we learned yeah. very early that uh, something that hunger isn't. We just know that when we eat it, it soothes it. Yeah. You know, one thing that I think may be uh, really interesting to bring up is... <clears throat> is um, it, it is really good to get rid of these refined sugars and et cetera. Because like sugar, before you refine it, and even these white breads and white this and white that, thing, you know, white rice, things that have been stripped of other elements, well, well that's, that's how they're refined. Um, you know, besides going through that process, they're stripped of these elements. And what elements are they left with? They're left with just the sugar, it's nice and sweet. Um, and it's, uh, it's quick, it's sweet, it works. It, it gives you that, it, it like tricks your taste buds for what your body really wants. But what is being stripped from there are a lot of vitamins and minerals that naturally um, are combined with those sugars. And without those vitamins and minerals, your, your body chemically has to grab those vitamins and minerals from yourself so that, that's the process of it burning you interesting uh, yeah it, and it's um <clears throat> it's uh you know so so really when you go away from you know white sugars or really when you get away from any isolated substances or substances that are stripped down to their white version uh, just removing those helps incredible uh, all right thank you for your patience on that so people don't have to suffer when, when they know these things. Yep, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing to me. And the amount of denial people have about dietary changes helping them is just mind blowing. You know, it's, it's whenever I, I've, I've tried to have some conversations with uh, a couple of friends over the years. Um, and it's, what, what's amazing to me is like, I'll say something like, maybe you should try having more fruit and vegetables in your diet. And I'm like, oh, I tried that. It didn't work. <laughs> and it's like, did you really try it? Like, did you also take out the things that are really bad? You know, well, I've not only that, but conversations because uh -huh. like if you're, you're, you, you want to reach out to somebody and make a positive, or like it, it suggests a positive change, but it's hard not to come off as uh, as like preachy or luxury or whatever. And people <clears throat> be told them to change things, people have to want to change themselves. And so the denial can just be so entrenched in folks. And I know that I, it, I was myself, like, it, it was a really long process over years and, you know, positive influences from my sisters and from you and, and so on uh, that led to me changing my diet. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's just, it's just sad seeing folks like just so entrenched in believing that uh, they shouldn't have to change anything, like keep eating McDonald's. And Well, you know, one thing I've realized from talking with a lot of people is that uh, a lot of people don't feel like fruit is going to help them for a few reasons. One a lot of fruit that you buy from a grocery store is not ripe at all. And you still need to even wait another day or two or a week. So yeah. people not knowing that they don't get the benefits. And when they do get the benefits, some people are super clogged up, especially in their intestines, especially older people. 
or people in their late 20s and 30s, um, that when they have these fruits or they have that juicy dragon fruit, yellow dragon fruit, suddenly they start shitting their brains out. <laughs> and they think that's a bad thing. And they don't realize like, no, a lot of that stuff is stuck there. And the, the fruit, uh, the, the uh, level of hydration from the fruit is able to unbreak up that hardened crap soil on your intestines. So, it's, so very specifically, when, when you suggest to people to eat more fruits, throw out there, eat more ripe fruits, it's so important you know whether it's ripe and it's such a huge difference. And veggies, okay, veggies, um, a lot of vegetables are extremely acidic. And even Christopher Vasey's book had it wrong with spinach, saying, hey, spinach, you know, have, have spinach, it's so alkaline. No, it's not. Spinach is one of the most um, acidic vegetables you can have. Sprouts are incredibly acidic too. The the sprout baby seedling uh, to protect itself from insects, mm. uh, you know, it, it puts off chemicals that are a lot more acidic. Now, probably not every sprout, but um, well, maybe every sprout. <laughs> um, and spinach, you know, I recently had a terrible acid reflux, and I couldn't believe it. But I could believe it because I had a spinach and carrot and apple juice. And I'm like, I know better. So then I had some acetyl water. <laughs> I drank that right away and it got rid of the acid reflux. But it was, I, I, I forgot how insanely acidic spinach is. Yeah. So one thing, one thing I, 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 I learned is like, I used to get, I used to have like joint pain all the time. Like my shoulders were like constantly sore. My knees are sore, back sore. And a lot of that stuff is, it's mostly gone now. Um, and so whenever I, I feel like a, fr a friend of mine has, has, has extremely bad inflammation issues and he actually has an old injury that he's, he's, he's trying to get rid of. It's never really, never really gotten over in his back. And there was a time I was visiting him uh, last year and he wanted me to, cause he couldn't, he couldn't move that day because he's having so much pain. So he was, he wanted me to run to the store and get him some food. And he listed the things on the, uh, he listed, he gave me a little grocery list and it was stuff like, you know, like hot pockets or instant pizzas or things like that. And I was just like, uh, this is stuff that's just going to keep your inflammation horrible. I don't want to go buy this for you. And yeah. so he's like, yeah. it was a and then I think he, uh, you know, he found a different method, but I just, I just felt like it was just frustrating. Cause like, I know that eating stuff like that on a daily basis is, is, and maybe maybe not directly related to his old injury, but it's certainly not helping, and it's making it a lot worse and the pain a lot worse, and maybe perhaps preventing him from healing fully. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Thank you. I'm still here. Just my internet's getting weird. Well, you know, hey man, it, it was so good chatting with you. Thank you for sharing all that and for for being adamant with other people, or not necessarily adamant, but sharing with them how ripe fruits are the way to go. They're really good things to have. Yeah. Thank you, Derek. Yeah, fruit and vegetables. Eat your fruits and vegetables. It's like the, it's like the oldest advice ever and no one else to follow it. <laughs> <laughs> There's some really good fruits and vegetable memes out there too about eat nothing but raw fruits and vegetables. Like, how on earth could that help you? <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, so are, are you, do you have somebody else coming up right now? Or? Yeah. Oh, cool. I do. After, oh, yeah. after four, I do private things. Um, and the private things are, um, they're paid and uh, I'm going to use the money to post these on, you know, website and things to. Oh, cool. Well, you're actually being like a coach. Kind of thing. Not so much. I, I don't want to charge at all, to be honest. Um, I, I find it, um, I definitely find it immoral to demand money um, or even for a service to help someone. But, uh, but so these, these are all free and this is kind of an agreed thing. Like, Hey, you know, if it's after four, like, how about, is that okay to help me with this? And, and, um, and then that could help build these things forward. Yeah. Cool. That's be fun to talk to you about some other stuff too, but I guess you, you've got other people coming up. So I'll let you yeah. that. <laughs> book again. I, I'd love to chat with you anytime, man. And, and this helps me doing this booking thing helps me set aside definite time to have those conversations first family work and etc yeah cool yeah thanks, thanks Derek. nice talking to you thank you see you man peace